lot to be covered in the last episode um, after I finish off the princess uh, finding of the cat mission. So yeah, as you can see, this is going to be the final lookout for hopefully the finale of the game. One thing I want to say is that I have uh, completed a lot of side missions. Upgraded as much as I could. I did the best I could. So let's see if I can put it all to the test. I even mastered that uh, that Shinobi style. You know, that little Sasuke style that many people want to compare it to. I upgraded that fully uh, because I found that I can, uh, one of the missions called the Watchman, I was able to do that. With that being said, let's see if I can run out the finale now. It might be one or two parts or just this entire part. I may just make this a longer part than usual. Psycho has sent word back that he's ready to negotiate. In truth, I already had high hopes. But you still outdone yourself. Princess Atsuko, Saigo, and I, we could never have achieved this, no matter how hard we tried. The fact that we've been able to come this far is all down to the bonds that you have forged. There are things one cannot accomplish alone. But a strong bond makes both parties involved stronger. The bonds you forged are a true blessing, and they're the difference between you and your old partner. I want to settle things between the Shogunate and the new administration. We need less fighting and more talking. It won't be easy, but what choice is there? But I fear the Demon Claw Samurai is bound to intervene. That's why I want you there. To end this once and for all. Right. It's do or die for the both of us tonight. By the way, some of your acquaintances are hoping for a word with you. The negotiations with Psycho aren't set to begin just yet. I'm sure you have much to discuss, so I'll leave you be. Okay. The Veiled Edge. Say goodbye to... Say your goodbyes to the group. Oh, crap. Oh, damn. I've come to see you in Ryoma's stead. I thought he'd want to know how you're doing. Ryoma called you his partner, right? Vexing as it is, I'm not sure I could measure up. What'll he say when he sees the new Japan you've built? <laughs> Isn't that exciting? Don't do anything crazy. Well, you're, Ryoma's in your hands now. Oh, Rio. Dang, you should have been with me, not Ryoma. Remember that. Gojo clan, blue eyes, right here. I have a bicker one. Oh. My wife. Oh. My wife. My wife. My wife. Mm. Why are you taller than me? Oh, because you stand on that rock and you got those. Ah, uh, what do you have to say? Think of all the lives that are lost so easily in war. But saving a life is a different matter. It requires real effort. I've tried everything to save my patients. So I know from experience that miracles do not just happen. They are made to happen. A lot of people are looking for you for just such a miracle. So go out and do it. But make sure you come back safe. I don't know why I said a lot of people. It's me who will be waiting for you. So please, promise you'll return. Oh, so that's how you feel. You just want me for you. All right, well, then we both have blue eyes, so our offspring apparently is going to have blue eyes too, except for hopefully they end up having my eyes. Six eyes. Either way. I love you. I will come home. Zaddy will come home. I promise you. And then we'll put a baby in the oven. Maybe twins. 
Gojo Clan. Bigger, well, you know. You witnessed it, I promise you. You never said it was small. You said it was big, and you're a doctor, so you know the difference between small, big, I mean, small, medium, and large. You're only taller than me by like a half an inch anyway. Look at that. <laughs> In your face. <laughs> oh. Please, tell me the truth. Why are you planning to go after this? America. Ah, apologies. That was a little intrusive of me. I just can't bear the thought of you meeting the same fate as dear Ryoma. I'm tougher. I don't know what it is you're trying to accomplish, but all I ask is that you return safe and sound from the endeavor. Of course. Listen, Sana, Sana Chiba, you like, at first I wanted to date you only because Ryoma, you was fixated on Ryoma. That's not healthy for you. You should not be fixated on Ryoma. You see, Ryoma already has somebody called Oreo, a cookie. She's a cookie. Compared to you, you're, you're a brute. I'm going to be honest, you're a brute. But at the end of the day, you're actually pretty delicate and feminine in features and everything. So keep your head up. Even if you um, don't mind giving Ryoma a harem and everything, I'll be fine with that. Just know for a fact that if you ever 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 challenge me in a fight again i'll i'll destroy you i'll i'll just do that destroy you um up down up down up down go to clan out oh and you, you'll always be second second fiddle to oreo my bad just wanted you to know that you look well yeah thanks get out my face my wife, I married you for status, but at the end of the day, you're much more than status to me. What do you got to say to me? Where's the cat? My utmost thanks for delivering the letter to Saigo. Now everything's up to him and Katsu. If the fighting comes to Edo, my fate will be bound to that of the Shogunate. But it won't come to that, will it? A new world is coming. One where those who gave their all for their country are rewarded. Saigo and the Katsu too are united in this belief. Ah, hello. Katsu will go down in history for all he has achieved, I am sure. Truly, one's status and birth need not hinder one's potential. If we all had his capacity to make our dreams a reality, this country would be transformed. Don't you think? Imagine if we could all emulate his example. 
But I do not see why this should remain but a dream. No, I will make it so myself. Till next time. And I hope that your dream comes true because at the end of the day, I understood part of what you wanted. You want to be the scholar. You're truly a good scholar and a true friend. And you are taller than me by like a half an inch. And I am upset by that. You're about 5'8". I'm about 5'7". Um, you are a good friend. You taught me the Tatsumi style. You have trained me well. You have done everything in your power to make sure that I learned exactly what you could offer to me. And you are a great mentor and great friend. Too bad I didn't do many of your missions, but I did the ones that led up to, uh, led up to the uh, Blue Demon teaching me his style too. So thank you for that. And with that being said, go do a clean out. Fuck. <laughs> what a coincidence. Orders have come from the homeland to withdraw from Japan. But I'm of no mind to live. I have found a way forward. After encountering the Shinsengumi, we formed the Dragon Corps, the battalion of my dreams. We'll depart soon and work to become the samurai of the new age. I trust you will follow your own path. Farewell. Perhaps we'll meet again soon. Yeah, we will. Au revoir, Captain. Uh, uh, I forget how to say it in French and everything, but long live the French. I forget how to say it truly. Uh, but I do know how to say forever pure. Toujours pure. Uh, with that being said, you're actually a strong opponent. I'm not going to lie to you. You really are strong. The Gojo clan is just better and you're like tall as hell. Okay. Um, so I talked to my wife. I talked to the second fiddle. I talked to Frenchie. I talked to um, the cheater. Shut up. I talked to my, um, my other wife. I talked to my mentor. And who are you? Oh, hello. A new battle is just... Breaking out. Oh, you're the scholar Not too. Not that of the Satsuma Choshu Alliance, but one of commerce. Soon, we'll be fending off merchants and traders from all over the world. <laughs> I expect to have my hands full indeed. But that's still yet to come. You must conclude your own battle first. Leave the future to me, and give all you can to the here and now. Stay well. Wise words from you, my guy. Wise words. Anybody else here? Oh, I know where I think I can find them. Are you guys up here? Yep, just like I thought. Hey. Hey. Oh, good to see you safe and sound. I thought I should catch up with you while I was checking on things in Edo. I have always chosen what I believe to be the best course. But I know many men have lost their lives because of my choices. I want to help make a world where all can see their deaths were not in vain. I need you to know that. I didn't know what to make of you except for that you were drunk and everything but overall you're not a bad fighter and you're a really good ally to be dependable on truly i wish i could have took on more missions with you and we could have formed a bigger um, friendship and everything well yeah you take care too my guy and you i know what you want to do you want to slap me don't you i've been thinking about it for some time why do those who seek peace go to war? I don't have the answer. But I know you're always risking your life for a peaceful world. That much is painfully clear. Knowing that much, I can almost glimpse the answer. 
come back safe. Please. You have to. You sound like we were dating, but we were not. You were married to the pretty boy who got cut down and everything due to his own recklessness. So with that, I still have pity on you. So you take well too. And why are your feet? Okay. Your feet are buried in dirt. Sorry, though. But yeah, I, I apologize. We just had to. He was off his rocker. He's a nutcase. You do not see that he enjoyed and raveled in burning buildings? That is something I don't condone. He had to be put down. How do you do? You strong as fuck. It was a tough choice. But Saigo has decided to participate in the talks. It all came down to the letter you delivered from Princess Atsuko. A world in which those who fought for others get their just reward. In those words, Saigo and I both saw the shape this country should take. Far too many have died in order for us to get here. I pray what comes next will live up to both their hopes and ours. And that your efforts will be rewarded. By your leave. Listen, man. The first time I fought you, I knew for a fact that you were going to be a problem. You too damn strong. That's all I'm going to say about that. Fabulous opponent. Now, who's the last person? You? I'm you. over here. Oh, hell no. It's on site with you. It's always got to be on site with you. Can I pull out my... I can't attack you. It's on site with you every time. There are two sides to everything. Light and shadow. We are of the kind who belong in the shadow. Hey, he just made a reference to Assassin's Creed of Shadows. Time. Light and shadow. There is work to be done in both worlds. I think I'm close to understanding why it is I risk my life. The blood we've shed in the shadows has been in the service of history. That's our true purpose. You must see it through. Some Number other one. time then. Some other time then, yeah. It's on site some other time, not right now. But truly, my guy, you are too strong. Your style is freakish. I don't know what to make of you most times. You want to aggressively attack, get your stamina back, aggressively attack some more, and then just beat me. You, you know how many times you defeated me just because you wanted to keep the um, promise you did to Kondo about his head being severed? You beat me about five to six times before I actually took you down. You're lucky I don't, I respect you and I don't ever want to kill you. Get nerfed. All right, I talked to everybody I needed to. Now I'm going to do this final mission, potentially, even though it's leading up to it. If you say one more word when I pass you, I'm going to smack the heck out of you. Ah, it's you. Okay, I was about to say. Have you met with everyone you wanted? When you're ready, head to the Satsuma base. Enough of that. Not the type to get sappy. I, uh, found a place that does good eel recently, though. Soft and plump like you wouldn't believe, with just the right amount of sauce. Quite exquisite. I'll take you there. My treat. But first, we have work to do. No need to be so stiff. It's the difficult things that end up the most interesting. Never be so uptight, you can't enjoy the moment. Right then, let's go. This is no time for games or evasions. Let us be straight with each other. Naturally, I came with the same intention. So let us talk. First, the new administration's requests.
Oh, it's on site. It's on site. My own sister, I'm gonna call her. Clansman. Clanswoman. It is time to end this. It is. So you're the common twins of here. You've always been too I know you better than anyone. She is tough. Oh, man. She is tough. I swear, besides the other guy, Hi uh, Hajime, the Blade Twin is truly the strongest and the final boss fight of this game. I wanted to make a world where we could live together. Just to let me die. <laughs> yeah, let's kill her. Nope, I already said in the beginning, if there was a way for me to actually, like, save her, I would. I will not kill her. As a matter of fact, I'm going to edit this part out. As I said, I will not kill my Blade Twin. Um, from the beginning to the end, it was like the whole Naruto Sasuke thing. Always trying to reach out, trying to find her. And it was truly my fault that her arm got cut off in the beginning anyway. Both of our fault, but overall my fault. So with that being said, I will not kill the Blade Twin. Partner in crime. I will not kill the Blade Twin. This is a partner in crime type ordeal. Yeah, damn. Kind of harsh on your sister. Do you mean to mock me? If you turn it all into a sea of flames, that family would be torn asunder. Become just like the people we hated. Uh, 
Oh. They're sitting down with one another. Been as, bet you it's been a long time since you guys did this together. Since your master passed. Why not? It's a new dawn for Japan. It could be for you too. Separately formidable. Together unstoppable. Blade twins are forever tied together by the bonds of fate. Hey, that was a magnificent. Hey, look at it. It's the Shogun. Talk to Tokugawa. Regardless, that was a magnificent game. I said it from the beginning. I believe I said this at some part in my gameplay, but from the start, if there was a way for me to um, save the Blade Twin, I would. I would not kill them no matter how many times we fought. And I'll throw this out there. And um, you, it probably was cut it out by me. But 81% of you who played this game fully have spared the Blade Twin. 19% of you killed your blade twin that 19 percent of you i'm judging you you are truly hopefully it's, it was on your um other runs or anything or you had some game shark recall whatever uh but the 19 percent of you who killed your blade twin you're bad people you are bad the one the 81 percent of you that actually spared your blade twin i i respect you because you got to think about it from the very beginning, when you two forged out on that one mission to, to um, defeat Matthew Perry from the UK, uh, you have to think about it. At some point, it was truly your fault that your Blade Twin actually perished and ended up going to America, smuggled into America and getting that demonic arm in the first place. Then she came back to Japan, seeking, um, having a new ideal about how I, Japan is. Her ideals were not bad, but it's the way how she went about it was wrong. Like I said, also, not all villains are bad. They just have um, different outlooks on uh, on things of the world. So, yeah. I truly did enjoy this game. From the very beginning to the end, I enjoyed it. I would give this game a good... Honestly, 10 out of 10. This has had me more impressed than Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, which I played earlier in the year. Uh, so, for me to say something like that, and I'm a huge Final Fantasy fan. Oh, look who it is. Oh, come on, Ryoma. You're looking dapper with your suit and 10-gallon hat on, saying goodbye to Japan. Where are you off to, playboy? Either way. Uh, I enjoyed this game truly. Let's see. So, everybody at Team Ninja, for your first open world game, y'all knocked it out of the park to me. Like I said, there were some cons, like the swimming. I'm glad that you guys let your character swim. I'm let. I'm glad that you let your di um, characters dive underwater and everything. But there was no action to be brought with the underwater. I mean, with the water fights. There was no, there was no naval battles, which I'm not, which I was not expecting. There was no hack and slash in the water to defeat like a, a I don't know, a creature of the deep and everything, like a dolphin or shark. 
it was none of that. It's okay, but at the same time, you gotta put something underneath the water in order to make it feel more realistic, fishes, something to interact with. Uh, I wish and I hope that there's DLC for your blade twin. What I mean by that is, I would like to see how they implemented um, your blade twin to get the um, to get the dem demon arm, demonic arm, and everything. Like put it on her, how you trained with it, all that good stuff. I would like to see how she, he or she, because you can have bla you can start off as the female character too, and have the male as the uh, as the enemy. And I will, and vice versa. As I did, male character for me, female character for, as my enemy. I would have like to see uh, how that progressed. As far as the voice actors and actress, thank you for keeping it authentic with um, with um, with the Japanese with Japanese voice actress. Hopefully, many of them were Japanese voice actress. Uh, I could actually understand that they were. Um, I'm not trying to be biased or racist or whatever, that they were um, Japanese trying to speak English. You can hear it in their accent that they um, that they know how to speak English, but at the same time, they try to keep it as um, Japanese as possible, which I loved and everything. I loved that. Any, um, any Japanese, Korean, uh, English type game should always try to have actors and actresses voicing their native tongue even if it's in a different language english japanese chinese korean uh european or any of that keep it immersive the immersiveness with is also what brought me back to this game there was a crap ton of side missions and there's much more that um that i can explore in this game on this playthrough which i will be doing um later on off screen and everything I will be going for the platinum but if there is a trophy and I will check to see if I must kill my blade twin I'll do that in a new in another game and everything new game not new because I know this game do not have new game plus which I'm sort of some something like uh, disappointed on but I will try to um, do that on a new game run so with that or I can just revisit everything and then just turn the tides and time and everything but overall for Team Ninja's first ever open world game, knocked it out of the park, 10 out of 10. So I'm gonna let this play out because, well, gotta give credit to where credit's due. Uh, they partnered up with PlayStation. There's probably gonna eventually be a PC port of this game. But when I think of Ghost of Tsushima compared to this game, I do not like to compare. They're both on the same level. Ghost of Tsushima focuses on the creed of the samurai, strictly, uh, or a inverted uh, creed of the samurai, but you still have to uh, fight your opponent's head on and everything. Uh, when I think of this game, it is truly a Ronin hack and slash game. All styles, all forms, and everything. Too many styles, too many forms. Everything felt, uh, felt great from beginning to end. Um, with, with Ghost of Tsushima, they had authentic um, voice actors and actresses too. This game, same thing like I said. So, there's no comparison. Both of them are 10 out of 10 games. If this game wins game of the year, I will not be mad. It will deserve it. And truly, uh, and I'm definitely gonna bite my tongue on this. It was it was more enjoyable than Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, and that was something from a hard pill for me to swallow because I am a big Final Fantasy fan, and I will defend Final Fantasy until the day I close my eyes. But this game exceeded expectations of when it uh, when I when I as I finished played and finished it the combat was challenging the um the many styles and way how you can do combinations and everything was 
life was challenging. You can change styles in the mix of combat, which throws your opponent off. And you had to think about, about how can your next move be. I can, did not play this game to the fullest because I did not feel like destroying my controller. But I knew Tatsumi style and the uh, uh, two sword style of speed was my two best styles to go up against the Blade Twin because I was more familiar with those styles. Parrying and everything. So, uh, wow. And I did say I was going to use the, um, the Shinobi style just to get her too, but she definitely probably would have countered that easily. Easily would have been able to counter that. They are both equal. They're, the, both these games are equal. Ghost of Tsushima and Rise of Ronin. I'm hoping down the line there is a sequel to this game or they just at least give you some DLC. If there is a sequel to this game, I will definitely pick it up day one. Because this, from the way that it ended right there, it does not seem that, uh, that, that this, the last game. It just doesn't. Probably, um, probably since the good ending that I got right here, spending, sparing the Blade Twin, that's a sign of continuation. And the percentage poll of 81% basically tells Team Ninja, hey, we want a sequel of some sort or a spiritual sequel to this game compared to the 19% who just basically wanted the game to be one and done. You have to go off a of moral whenever you play a game. You have to think about what you would do, how you would react. And me sparing the Blade Twin is like me having, it's not really showing mercy, it's me as a character like, hey, she probably looked at it as I abandoned her when I jumped off the boat, but we both knew what we was getting into. And even the blue demon said, Blade Twins, uh, one of you will live, one of you will die. Who is it going to be? So yeah. Great game. Great game. Like I said, I'm gonna let this play out, and if there's any epilogue or anything, hopefully that it will be seen. Uh, I might edit cut to the very to the epilogue after I'm talking and everything. If so, you um hopefully you enjoyed this. That's my full review of Rise of the Ronin. Hey, look at that. We got Rioma in the United Kingdom, I think. The freak? Huh? Oh. Yo. Oh, there's definitely going to be a sequel. Hell no, nah. the Blade Twin is in the UK. But the samurai spirit lives on. That's either America or the UK. and Takamori Saigo, the shogunate forces surrender Edo Castle. With that, those who dreamed of a new dawn for Japan succeed in avoiding full-blown war in Edo, saving countless lives. There we go. You completed the main storyline and unlocked the following treasures. The Midnight difficulty setting is now used the Testament of Soul to play Midnight missions, obtain masterwork equipment, 
ally missions have been unlocked. Use the testament to play high risk, high reward missions. Breakthrough skills have been added to the stats menu. You learn uh, Miyoto Ki, uh, Kaishin view, compass style, and other um, skills that will enhance the protagonist. That was a mouthful, and I probably messed up a lot. But yeah, um, that's the end of the game, guys. I hope you all enjoyed it. Uh, as usual, like, subscribe, watch the whole playlist, watch every other playlist. We're not sure if this is going to be the very last game that I'll give you guys of 2024. It isn't, but yeah. Uh, like I said, um, January, February, and March will be strictly for um, uploads and streams. I'll give myself a nine-month hiatus after March 31st. Ah. This was a great game. Great game from the beginning to the end. I love you all and I am gone.